Hello, this is Stephen Schultz at KC3NBR. I'm going to give an abbreviated talk from my ham radio boot camp series. So, what is amateur radio? It's also known as ham radio. It's a hobby. It's also a service that the uh, federal government enables as a public good. And radio communications go wherever you want to go. Your cell phones are radio. There's radios all over. Your garage door openers are radio. Some are licensed, some are unlicensed. On the internet, there's a lot of study guides. You're going to need a license uh, for the amateur radio band, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, you can practice online once or twice, and then you'll be able to successfully pass the test. So there's some goals. Um, the amateur radio service um, folks often particip participate in public services. They're involved in emergencies. Um, they develop new communications technology. Uh, there's a number of different licenses. The entry licenses is a technician license, which um, gets you into relatively low cost VHF, UHF. Um, generals for HF and amateur extra has some additional privileges. There's lots of study help. Uh, before you get started, um, you need to get an FRN number from the FCC and you'll present that when you go and take the test. The exam has 10 elements. And we talked a little bit about the spectrum. We often talk about spectrum as going from DC0 to daylight, which is um, light, the visible light. Um, most uh, people are familiar with the uh, 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz band or the 3 uh, megahertz to 30 megahertz band, the HF band, shortwave radio, VHF, TV, FM. Um, the 2 meter band for amateur radios in the VHF um, and on dub. This chart has a uh, much more detailed um, description of different bands. Uh, we'll be talking about the 2 meter band which again is amateur um, and also the 70 centimeter band uh, at 420 megahertz, uh, another amateur band. So here you can see somebody using a mobile uh, unit that uh, is battery or an, and solar power. This is great for emergencies. Uh, different types of radios. So to get started, uh, you probably want to look at a cheap handheld um, or mobile. Base units are a, a lot more expensive. Uh, a lot of people like the Baofengs. Um, maybe $25, $35 radios. They do a lot, although there are some cautions. Yesu is another great uh, system. Um, people in the past have had um, FRS, GMRS radios, FRS being family radio service. And then we'll talk a little bit about some of these other topics. Uh, modulation, we're not going to get into that now. Um, talked a little bit about the technician's license. Okay, um, in terms of the uh, quiz or the parts of the license again. Um, you can see the 10 parts um, and I have uh, quiz elements for each of these uh, individual uh, that are highlighted in red. Okay, thanks so much and hope you uh, sign up for the uh, Ham Radio Bootcamp series.